we're going to start talking about data analysis. Okay, so you're all going to feel like computer wizards and uh, and all these uh, very intelligent people who run computer websites. Okay, uh, because data analysis um, is what they do, and it's something actually very simple that you're going to learn right now. Okay. Now, the first part of data analysis is about collecting data, and that's what we're going to talk about today. OK, so this will give you an idea of what we're going to be doing today. And your objective is to learn how to collect data in two different ways and organize that data into range. OK, so what is data analysis? Think about it. What is data analysis? OK. Well, it's basically a process of organizing data and numbers. Data is just numbers, really, okay, that have been collected in order to make sense of the data and find useful information, okay? So it's not just an exercise that wastes time, it's for a purpose to find useful information, all right? Okay, data can come from anywhere, all right? But it always shows one thing, and that's quantity, okay? This lesson is going to focus on the collection of data and how to display that data once you've collected it. All right. Once you know how to collect and display data correctly, you're then going to learn how to extract averages from the data, which is very important. All right. There are three types of averages, and we're going to learn them in the next lesson. Okay. All right. And finally, when we have all the data and averages, we will, go, we, we will then work on how to show our data analysis in graphs, okay? It's going to look really professional, all right? So let's get started. The basics. To collect our data, we first need to know what data we want to collect, okay? We, we need to start somewhere, all right? And it could be anything. It could be selling candies, how many candies you've sold. It could be the ages of students in a school or in a classroom. It could be something simple like your favorite snack, or it could be how, how many people um, have their birthdays in a certain month, okay? What their favorite dog is, what their favorite um, whatever, okay? It can be anything you want, okay? Um, and then once you know what data you're collecting, you're go then going to need a way to collect it. Now, where are you collecting your data from? Okay, you're collecting it from people. Okay, so we can collect data using surveys and questionnaires. Now, you've all done a questionnaire or a survey in the past, so it should be fairly simple. Okay, and that is how we're going to get our data. All right, so how are we going to record our data we're going to use something called a tally chart okay so tally charts help us to see and collect our data during the survey all right it's um it's no good just going around and asking people we need to actually get our information our data into some kind of uh of a graph or a table okay and that's what a tally chart will do OK, so this tally chart is showing the number of televisions between a group of friends. So how many televisions they have in their house. All right. So it's very simple. OK, we've got here on the left number of TV sets in the home. OK, so we've got from zero to five. Now, the person doing this survey didn't put these numbers down at first. OK, because there's no way he would have known. OK, how many? There could have been a one of his friends that had six or seven televisions. OK, so it's very important that this is open to change. OK, but here we know that uh, there is zero OK, televisions all the way up to five televisions. All right. And here on the right, we have the number of friends. So here he's tallied the number of friends. OK, so we can see here that one of his friends has no televisions at home. That's very sad. OK, uh, here we have one friend who has one, two friends have two, two friends have three, four friends have four televisions and just one friend has five televisions. OK, so just by looking at this tally chart, we can already extract some very important information. The first one we can see straight away is how many friends he asked. OK, and we count up the number of tallies 
Okay, we can see that he asked 11 of his friends. That's very important. Okay, we can see the lowest quantity of televisions in one of the households is zero. Okay, we can see that here. And the highest quantity, okay, is five. We can see that here, so zero and five. Now, if one of his friends had six, like I mentioned earlier, the highest quantity would have been six on here. So you go as high and as low as you need to while you're asking people, okay? Now, there is also a very important piece of information here that we're, I'm gonna explain more in the next lesson because it's more to do with averages. But here, we have the biggest result, which is four, okay? So four people had four televisions, which is our biggest result of all six, okay? That's very, very important, but not for right now, okay? Once we've done our tally chart, we can then use something called a line plot, okay? Um, a line plot is very helpful and it's very visual to help record our data, okay? And it looks like that, okay? So it's just a simple line and it's exactly the same information, okay? So here we have zero televisions up to five. And now instead of using a table, okay, it's just a line with the quantities and he used X's to show the number of friends who had certain amounts of televisions, okay? So it's very easy to read the data on a line chart, on a line plot, sorry, and that's why we do them, okay? And you can put a little formula up here, so one X equals one television set. That's very important, okay? Because we could, if we're doing large amounts, we could say one X equals 10 candies, yeah? Okay, and that would be 10, 10, 20, 40 here, okay? So that is a line plot. Very, very simple. It's just a line with the quantities, and then we use X's or whatever you want to show how many people had the quantity, okay? All right, in the next lesson, we will be using our data to find three different kinds of average, okay? So we're gonna be using the tally chart and the line plot to find averages. I'm not gonna go that in, into that right now, but I just want it in your minds, okay? Because it's very, very important, all right? And we call it the three M's, okay? Maybe you've done it before, I don't know, okay? That's the basics of collecting data, okay? And I'm going to leave you with a task, and I'm going to give you until Friday to do this task because it's it might take you a bit of time. All right, and this is what you have to do. So listen very carefully. The first thing you're going to do is create a simple ch tally chart like the one in this video that you've just seen. Okay, so on the left, the quantity of things, and on the right is your tally of how many people have that quantity. Okay, then you're going to ask 12 people how many electronic devices they own. So that's the data that you're collecting. You're collecting data of how many electronic devices each person owns. So that could be anything from a computer, a cell phone, a tablet, uh, a, even a video game console, um, that, whatever you want that is a, an electronic device. And it's also up to them when you ask them the question, they're going to give you their response, okay? You can ask anyone you like, so you can ask your classmates, okay? You can ask parents, you can ask your brothers and sisters, cousins, okay? Whoever you want, okay? As long as you ask 12 different people, and please don't make up the data. It's very important the data is real, all right? So you need to ask those people. I'm sure in one hour, you can find 12 people to ask, even if you have to make a phone call or a video chat, it's up to you how you find those 12 people, okay? Now, once you've got that tally chart and you've asked those people and taken your survey, okay, you should have a full tally chart and then you're going to create a line plot showing your results from your tally chart, all right? And that, okay, is it. now. Once you've completed your tally by asking your people how many devices they own, and then you've written your line plot, I want you to, below the chart, write down the information that I showed you earlier. Okay, so I want you to write down the lowest quantity. So you can say lowest quantity equals one or zero. The highest quantity, so 
maybe your dad owns five electronic devices so your highest quantity would be five okay and very important the biggest result so if five people that you ask all said they own three electronic devices okay then three would be your biggest result all right that is your challenge and your task for today and tomorrow i'm going to give you some time because i know you need to go around and ask people um and and get that tally chart done okay so um just to show you again here's what the tally chart looks like so this is what you need to draw at first before you even ask them draw your tally chart before you ask the people okay now once you have your 12 people you're then going to create the line plot just like this using the same data this data here is exactly the same here there's no change it's just in a line plot all right so you can draw it by hand or you can use a google doc or drawing okay um or you can use word okay and you can ask me for help anytime if you don't understand and that is it for today any questions just ask me all right speak to you later guys